In collaboration with the members of the Ovahimba and the San communities, the UNESCO's CHAIRS team has pioneered the development of immersive virtual reality experiences that breathe life into indigenous knowledge. So the, the whole point is that indigenous knowledge should not get lost and it should not also just be digitalized and up in the cloud. But what we really want is that the primary school children also learn traditional practices. And so what we then do with the cultural experience that we have created, we add um, we add pedagogical parts to it in order to make sure the children actually learn the practices. Virtual reality has emerged as a powerful tool for cultural preservation and education, offering users an immense experience that can foster deeper understanding and respect for indigenous practices. A master's student in computing and informatics provided insights into the technical aspects of the design. Um, I am digitizing one of their processes. Um, and so that has been a very interesting experience because of the co-design aspect, um, because we obviously want to have culturally validated um, experiences and models and interactions. And so that's been very interesting to see like, the little nuances of uh, what exactly it is that they look at for cultural validation, um, whether it's the way someone walks, the way that they're dressed, or um, even just certain um, also, the entire process of going through it, we validated every single step. The IK cluster has partnered with People's Primary School in Katatura, engaging learners in co-design processes to create educational technologies. So here at NAST, we, we are having workshop and we are learning about the VR of hunting, like the, the Nama and the Sun hunting program. It was kind of fun and I learned more about it. And I also saw the traditional people along the way. 13-year-old Rodriguez Gavasev, a learner from People's Primary School, shared wise words on the significance of culture and tradition. They should like respect their culture and follow the order that they are given so they do not make mistakes in the future or even now. Johanna Urikos, NBC News, Ventuk.